Our Weekend Watch shines a spotlight on government activity. Today we're focusing on police shootings in suburban Cook County and the lack of accountability those officers have faced. You can read a lot more about these stories right now by the Watchdog Group, Better Government Association. And here to talk more about the issues from the BGA is Casey Toner. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So since 2005 in suburban Cook County, there have been 113 police shootings, but no consequences. Yes, there's been 113 police shootings involving 117 people. And we found that not in a single case was an officer uh, disciplined, uh, retrained, let alone uh, charged with a crime. And uh, part of the reason is because there are no procedural reviews being done on these shootings. Uh, and a result of that, you know, you can't catch what you're not looking for. And at the Better Government Association, we believe in uh, accountability and that law enforcement should be held to the highest standards. And in this case, um, that was, that's not happening. Well, really to me, this is, you know, it feels like questionable policing is not just a, a big city core problem. It's, it's spread out as well. Uh, yes. I mean, we found these shootings uh, are primarily concentrated in the south and western suburbs. And some of these cases uh, defy comprehension. I mean, there's a case that we wrote about in Robbins where a 13-year-old boy uh, caught a stray bullet fired from a police officer uh, while he was standing outside uh, his aunt's doorway. And in that case, there was no procedural investigation to determine, uh, you know, should the officer have been firing his weapon in the first place. Wow. And as a result of that, the officer uh, was not disciplined and, um, you know, life just continued on in Robbins without uh, anyone blinking an eye. So what does this do to the trust between the community and the officers that live there and are policing that community when something like that happens and there's no uh, accountability? Well, we spoke to people time and time again who said that they felt like they were failed by this process, that you know, they didn't get an apology, and they never really found out um, what happened. And because of that, we, we spoke to other people uh, who basically would tell us rumors that they heard um, and various things that were just kind of allowed to fester because there wasn't any full accounting of what happened. Okay, well, is there any solution on the table so far? Uh, well, we've spoken to people who have uh, demanded changes, some lawmakers who seem like they're interested in, in changing the system, maybe by creating some kind of uh, agency that could investigate these shootings. Because for a lot of these towns, they just don't have the money and resources to do this themselves. So it looks, looks like it would take some kind of collective uh, reckoning to deal with this situation. All right, Casey Toner, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you very much. We really much. appreciate it. You can read more about this at BGA at bettergovernment.org. And we're also going to post a link on our website, abc7chicago.com.